Hello, welcome to Jason the Old Millennial. My name is Jason, speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. Today's video, I'm starting my first movie uh, where I ask people on Facebook, uh, it's a 12 movie challenge where I review a movie that someone recommends me every month for the 12 months. Anyways, and I got a, a pretty good pouring of recommendations, actually more than 12. So, but I'm, I've decided I'm going to do a review each month based on somebody, uh, movie that they recommended me. And then the other ones I don't get to, I will also review them on another uh, episode. But for this month, I picked um, uh, a movie called In the Name of the Father, which was uh, recommended to me by Ryan Swell. So here is my review of this movie. <laughs> Hello everybody, I hope everybody's doing well here on a late um, Wednesday night. Um, get another pretty late night. Uh, I was doing some things earlier, so I didn't get around to doing this video. Uh, anyways, but yeah, I want to make sure I made this video since it's the last day of January and I was going to do a review every month on the 12 movie challenge where I do one movie review per month based on a recommendation I got from somebody on Facebook. Uh, I wasn't sure when I, this is kind of a trend that's been happening. There's a couple other people that I know that are doing this as well. Um, and so I kind of just hopped onto the trend just to see what it was like. And somebody said, oh, you should try it. So I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I'm a little afraid of what people are going to uh, recommend me. In fact, there were a couple people that definitely were trolling me and they recommended me some really bad movies because I was like, yeah, I know that's a bad movie and you guys are, you know, trolling me here. But that's the risk you take, but then you hope you get some pretty good hidden gems in, in, in as well. So, uh, yeah, so for this month, um, I'm going to, I, I'm reviewing the movie in the name of the father, a movie came out in 1993, um, starring, um, Daniel Day Lewis, the great Daniel Day Lewis, um, also Peaceful Possilway and, um, Emma Thompson or some other big names on there directed by Jim Sheridan, who's Pretty, pretty big director. He's, he's an Irish director, and this movie is very Irish, set in Ireland. Uh, definitely deals with the Ireland culture and problems that they have, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, and Jim Sheridan's done some pretty good movies. I, I, I'm trying to remember the names of the... Uh, I know yeah, I've seen some of his other stuff that's pretty good. And he's got an Oscar nominated before, and this was definitely one of his big ones. I, Maybe, I wonder if he did My Left Foot. I wouldn't be surprised. That sounds like a Jim Sheridan movie. But anyways, but this was recommended to me by uh, Ryan Swells, uh, who's a really cool guy. He's got a great channel. Really, uh, he does movie reviews and stuff. And uh, he even does, like, Man on the Streets. Or he goes to places and interviews people sometimes. Uh, it's really cool. And I've done some live streams with him and... Uh, he's a real, he's a real cool guy. I really like listening to his views on movies and, and stuff. Uh, he did a, I think a top 10 movies and top worst movies. That was really entertaining, but yeah. So yeah, this movie in the name of the father it came out in 1993. It was nominated for seven Oscars. Uh, I looked up, uh, so it was a pretty big movie at the time. Not a movie that I think a lot of people talk about, or it was kind of a, the, the big hit of that year. Of course, that was the year Jurassic Park came out. It was the biggest movie of the year. And it also Schindler's List won the best picture that year. That was you know, obviously huge, won a lot of Oscars. But in the name of Father, um, yeah, a movie, it's a true story uh, about this guy named Jerry Conlon who wrote the book, uh, autobiographical book on it, and they turned it to the movie. And Dan Day Lewis plays Jerry Conlon. And it's set in Ireland. Um, it's during a time when there's these IRA bombings, you know, um, again. Uh, I know I, I got one Irish person I know, that's Lisa. Um, she has a channel, Lisa Loves, so maybe she can tell me more about, you know, Ireland. But the, there's a lot of these terrorist bombings and stuff like that going on. Um, a lot of infighting in between Ireland, I think, in North Ireland, between the K 
Catholics and Protestants and all this. Anyway, so it kind of deals with that. And the Jerry Conlon, he was a bit of a troublemaker. I would say he gets in trouble with the law quite a bit. He's protesting stuff. And um, anyways, not the best son, uh, I would say. He's always kind of somewhat disappointing to his father, played by Peter Possaway. Um, in this uh, really good role for him. Um, and so then he's he goes to like someone's house and then he ends up s sleeping on like a park bench and then the house gets uh, blown up uh, or it gets a bomb and a bombing happens, you know, a terrorist bombing. And so the police are looking for, you know, suspect and they find him outside and that was good enough for the police to arrest him and then charge him with this uh, bomb this terrorist bombing. Anyways, of course, he had nothing to do with it, uh, but they had witnesses that he was there and all this. And so, and it's one of those things where the police just wanted to arrest somebody because, um, you know, it looks bad when something like that happens and you need a, you need somebody. If you, if you can catch somebody and, and pin it on them and say they did it, then everybody feels better. Like you did something, even though you really didn't, you didn't really catch the real uh, culprit. But, you know, this happens, of course, throughout history. We've, we had other movies like this, like The Hurricane with Denzel Washington. is actually a very similar story line. Kind of, not very similar, but has a similar thing where falsely imprisoned. So we've gotten a lot. In fact, in fact, I think recently we had one with Jamie Foxx had a movie with Michael B. Jordan where about somebody being falsely imprisoned. So we, d we definitely get these movies a lot because this happens throughout our history. Someone gets falsely imprisoned. And luckily, in some of these cases, they... Uh, get to retrial, whatever, and they get to be innocent and get to, even though they spend many, many years in jail, they get at least to get out and get to clear their name. And so that's what this is kind of movie's about. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he um, gets in prison. He gets like, you know, treated really bad by the police. He gets interrogated for hours and hours, you know, about, about everything. And they're just, it's just all a formality for them to pin the whole thing on him, even though he didn't do it. And the really the worst thing about it all is they also arrest his father, played by I said Peter Possaway, uh, even though his father, of course, had nothing to do with it. But they, you know, again, they had to really throw the book at him. And so they ended up arresting the father and pinning uh, part of the whole thing on him as well, which is, is horrible. It's just a horrible thing. His father is in the movie. Anyways, he's a really good father, very loving and trust or very, you know, even though. Like I said, Dan, Jerry, Dana De Luce's character, Jerry was not always the best son. He was getting in trouble a lot, you know. Um, it just, yeah, it just sucks that, you know, the, the father didn't deserve to be in prison as well. Uh, and neither one of them, of course, did anything. But it's like, man, that's harsh, to even bringing the father in. And that's why it's called in the name of the father, kind of part of the name of the movie. Anyway, so they end up, he ends up spending like 15 years in prison for this and and it's yeah but finally they get a lawyer um played by emma thompson to kind of look at the case and and she finds out she does some investigating and finds out that he was innocent because they kind of proven like something about the park bench he was on she kind of proved that he was there or something anyways so they have to this trial and uh yeah the whole thing about it and of course i'm spoiling because it's based on a true story I'm spoiling the movie but uh he gets uh in he's uh deemed innocent and you know he gets to go free anyway which is a great moment in the movie um yeah so that's kind of the whole story of the thing uh overall i think the acting was really good it got nominated for uh, all three actors uh dan de Luce for best actor peter possibly got a supporting actor which is really cool because i always thought he was a really good actor and he's one of those actors who i've seen him in a lot of movies he always plays a small supporting role usually, or I mean, maybe a major supporting role, but he's always a supporting, you know, character actor kind of uh, that you'll see. And he has a very memorable face to me. I like, I always see him go, oh yeah, that's, that's that guy. I didn't know who he was until like later on. It's like, oh, that's, that's his name, you know? And uh, I, I mostly know him from like Dra uh, Lost World, Jurassic Park. He plays the game hunter in that one, um, which I thought was pretty good. I remember he was in Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio, if you remember that, uh, that one way back. Um... He was in The Usual Suspects, had a kind of small part in there. Uh, but there's so many movies that I feel like anytime you see a movie, he'll show up and you're like, oh, yeah, that guy. And I always think, man, he, I always think he's really good in what he does. So I always like seeing him. And so I'm so happy he got a nomination here. So it's it's cool to see that. he got, Oh, he was in Inception. He was the father who was dying in Inception to Killian Murphy's uh, father in that movie. That was like one of his last roles because he died in uh, 2011, uh, unfortunately. So... 
you know, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, but yeah, so I, he was really good in this movie, and, and and he's so good in all the movies, so I'm so glad to see he got an Oscar nomination for this role. I think the only Oscar nom nomination he's ever gotten. So it's always good to, you know, I always like when you reward those character actors, you know, for putting years and years of good work in. But um, then Emma Thompson got a supporting actress nomination as well, and I thought she was really good. She doesn't show up till more than halfway through the movie, I think. Uh, and then she shows up to investigate, and then there's a whole trial scene. And of course, if you know me, I love a good trial movie or good trial scene. And the trial scene's really good at the end. I think Emma Thompson is really good at the end. Like, like she definitely, and she definitely was one of the, you know, she's a top notch, notch actress at this point. And so is Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis, um, he doesn't make a lot of movies, but he was really kind of somewhat of a, of a, 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 a role at this point. Because uh, he won the Oscar for My Left Foot in 1989, I think. And then he did uh, The Last of Mohicans, which was a big hit for him. And then he does this one, which he gets another Oscar nomination for. Uh, and then he does a couple of things here and there. And then there's kind of a slow period. And he comes back with Gangs of New York and There Will Be Blood and then Lincoln. You know, so, I mean, he came back with, a, you know, some really good mo uh, good roles anyways. And he's one of the best actors we've ever had, for sure. And it's another really good performance by Daniel Lewis. I feel like every time I see Daniel Lewis, I'm always like, that's a really good performance. Uh, I don't think he could have a bad performance. But yeah, it's another pretty good performance by Daniel Day Lewis here. But I think Emma Thompson almost would say is probably maybe my favorite performance of the movie. And again, she, I don't know if she won the Oscar around this time for uh, for a movie. Um, but I mean, she did like Sense of Sensibility, um, Room with a View, I think, which also had Daniel Day Lewis in it. I think she was in those. Uh, now I'm forgetting the movie she won, but she won, I think, recently at this point. Around 1993, she won... Might have been around this time she won an Oscar uh, for Best Actress. So, I mean, she's definitely one of the great British actresses we've had as well, anyway. So, but yeah, really liked the trial scene, really like her part in it. And of course, if it's great at the end because he, he's innocent and he even is like, his whole thing is like, I'm walking out those front doors. And, you know, and he does, he walks out the front doors, a free man, you know, finally after all he went through. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's a, you know, I, it's somewhat of a feel good story, I guess, in the end, because you, you feel, you know, sympathetic towards the character and glad he gets out. And anyways, overall, I think it was actually a really good movie. Um, I mean, I'd probably give it three and a half out of five stars, a really, which is a really solid recommend. Definitely, if you haven't checked that out, I recommend the movie in the name of the father. I thought it was a really solid movie. So yeah, so yeah, check it out uh, in the name of the father. Uh, so that's my review for this month. Um, stay tuned next month. Um, I think it's, um, uh, I can only imagine is the movie I'm going to review next month. So anyway, so stay tuned for that and please feel free to comment. If you've seen this movie, what do you think? Do you like it? Whatever. Love to read the comments and just say everybody, I thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for liking it. And thank you to all my subscribers for supporting the channel. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a good day.